Splinter bring you the world famous Woodpecker Circus! <laughs> This is bad. Yep, you said it. I never thought I'd say this, but you kids need discipline. The kind of discipline that brought fame to your great, great uncle, Colonel Knockpecker. That's it. What you two need is military school. Military school? Concord's Military Academy. We believe kids are nothing more than short adults. Move it, move it, move it! Ah! Tuh, tuh. What'd you let go for? I didn't do it. You bumped into me. Kachooey. I'll show you. I love it. Oh, help me. I do love it so. Right about now, those two moochers would be asking me for a sip. Gee, I, I wonder if I was too hard on them. Nah. Tonight on Hardline, kids speak out against adults who are too hard on them. Huh? Meet little Johnny Boom Boom, who had to go to military school. Now, every time he's bad, little Johnny Boom Boom gets sent off to his room room. Oh, 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 oh! They could come home worse than when I sent them. I gotta get those kids out of there. All right, my little heroes. <laughs> you got lookout duty. Now keep an eye out for infiltrators. If anybody comes in, you stop them. Be on your guard. You'll never know when you're being tested. Wow. This place is excellent. They must be out on maneuvers. What would great great uncle Colonel Mac Pecker do in this situation? Aha! He'd peck his way to the front lines. Battle helmet. <laughs> Camouflage. Transportation. <laughs> Military accessories ready. Commencing Operation Infiltration. Uh-oh. Incoming bogey at 3 o'clock! Engage missile firing systems! This is hardcore, but I'm a mech pecker, and there isn't an army alive that can stop that beak. There he is, using the old stilts on the water trick. Hey, Jaws, what's the matter? Snap away all you want. Can't get me. <laughs> Turn my bombs away! Huh? Ah! Come on, feet. We're almost there. into the open. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Stinkweed. Stinkweed. Skunk. Skunk. Ready? Fire! <laughs> Stink bomb. Target's on the move. Move it out. Battle to the metal. Oh. <laughs> Soldiers, 
let's see what we've got here. All right, watch out. Where are my kids, mister? Uncle Woody? Soldiers, you know this infiltrator? Sure, he's our Uncle Woody. What are you doing here? I've come to take you home. I, uh, need bowling partners. Yeah, take us home? But we love it here, Uncle Woody. You do? Yeah, we want to stay. And you're welcome to stay with them, soldier, because tomorrow is Relatives Reconnaissance Day. ha da ha ha Why, these little warriors get to hunt you down and capture you. <laughs> Doesn't that sound, uh, hey! Ah! <laughs> Would you look at that? He can't wait to get started. First squad, after him! Yes, sir! <laughs> Take a trip somewhere. How's about taking a trip some when? Some when? That's right, chum. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Dr. Buzz Buzzard, scientist, PhD, MD, I O U. And this here is my esteemed colleague, Professor Tweaky the Wacky, E I E I O. We would like to offer you a trip no travel agency can provide. A trip back in time. Yeah, we'll take you anywhere in time for, say, a hundred bucks? Nightly times. Prehistorical times. Space times. Cowboy times. Slap some chaps on me and call me Pappy. We're going to the Old West. Partner. What do I get to do once I'm there, partner? Well, uh, uh, do? Why, uh, One-Eyed Jack, baddest hombre there ever was, is gonna rob a bank. And you get to try and capture him for the reward. What are we waiting for? We are now traveling through time. Quick. Give me one western town, Tweaky. That's the Titanic sinking! Ooh, we're back in the Ice Age now. Watch out for the mastodons! Whoa! Look out for the stock market crash! to the Wild Wet. I mean, West. Towel fee, 20 bucks. A towel's not included? I'm afraid everything is a la cash. <laughs> oh, boy. I can't wait to capture... Huh? Well, I'll be hogtied. I'm gonna capture a bad guy, all right. It won't be one-eyed Jack. But first, I'll make those two vermits wish they'd never met Sheriff Woody. Hey there, sod busters. You got any idea where a dude can get a fast horse in this town? One fast horse coming right up, Sheriff. Oh, hey, why do I gotta be the horse? Just get out there, and when he gets on you like this... <laughs> oh, there's discomfort. You start bucking. The faster you dump him, the faster he'll want something else we can stick him for. <laughs> One horse, 50 bucks. Old West is practically known for. 
So, you distract him with your charm and disgrace. Then, I'll shove him into the player piano, grab his wallet, and we'll get out of this cowboy con. There's just one problem. What's that? Well, this bonnet clashes with these shoes. Get out there. You must be the new sheriff. Play me something fast and lively. Trap to capture that boy and take his wallet once and for all time. I'm way too good at this. <laughs> <laughs> See that big X? That's where I buried the dynamite. <laughs> And when the woodpecker gets there, I let him have it a lot. Oh, I got it, boss. Hey, woodpecker, this here town ain't big enough for the both of us. I thought exactly, one-eyed Jack. You ain't exactly the shiniest lure in the tackle box, are you, Woodpecker? Now, Tweaky! <laughs> nice job, Woodpecker. We've been after these two for a long time. I guess it's true what they say, officer. Time doesn't pay. <laughs> I want the Zack Zobar Super Double Deluxe Alien Combat Trooper with Galactic Goo Grip. Can I have it, yeah? Oh, Willie, wouldn't you rather have a keen stamp collection like your uncle, hmm? Oh... No. I want the Zack Zobar Super Double Deluxe Alien Combat Trooper with Galactic Goo Grip! We want to get the Zack Zobar Super Deluxe Alien Combat Trooper with Galactic Goo Grip! Can we have it, huh? Please, it'll keep us busy while you nap. <laughs> all right, all right, but then I get a nap. Do you have the Zack Super Deluxe Alien Combat Trooper with Galactic Goo Grip? Do you have the Zack Super Deluxe Alien Combat Trooper with Our toys are in the toy department. According to my computer, we only have one Zack Zobar Super Double Deluxe Alien Combat Trooper with Galactic Goo Grip left in stock. Then I guess it's mine. I have my value yopper club card. Yeah? Well, I've got two of a kind. That beats your hand. The toy's mine. The toy is mine. Oh, yeah? Well, I say, may the best uncle win. Wait a minute. That's not fair. I was here first. Go, yeah, come, come on, on, Uncle Woody. You can do it. You can do it. Go, 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 Mm-mm-mm. Without the toy, my Willy will be one unhappy boy. What can I do? Ah, at last, my Swedish woodworking will come in handy. You're gonna stay here, too, by Yingo. 
Hi, right, Yingo. <laughs> Looks like I'm gonna be the best uncle. <laughs> what goes up must come down. Bye bye. <laughs> For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Hey! Enough with the up and down! Wouldn't your little wooden heads have more fun with this than a silly old doll? I'll trade you. Ah, pogo sticks don't have laser eye beams. <laughs> hey! Ah, ah, ah. Little Billy's gonna be as happy as a podgy Swedish banker on deposit day. Oh, Wally, wouldn't your nephew rather have a neat basketball? It doesn't have boomerang fists. <laughs> Sweden, and I want to buy it now. As a value shopper, it's all yours. Yes! Zack Zobar is mine! <laughs> the yig is up, Mr. Smarty Feathers. I need that toy. Hoidy <laughs> boidy, I got the toy. Nap time's over. One toy coming up. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I'd like to buy this and use my valued yopper card so I can get my bonus points. I'm saving them up for a fjord skimmer. Don't worry, sir. I'll bag it for you right now. You, you cheater! That's mine! <laughs> Uh, hey, hey, look, Willy, I got you the, the invisible torso, Zobar Zaki. Uh, look, kids, it's the battle damage Zack Zobar with special fall-off arms and short-circuit eye beams. No, it isn't. You guys broke it. Besides, the new cool toy is the Germatron Super Multi Mega Action Racer with lightning lasers. Oh, can I have fun, Uncle? Can I? Can I? Yeah, can we have one, Uncle Woody? Can we? Can we? I'm afraid we only have one in stock. Oh my, and we're closing in two minutes. And now, my fine people, presto. Come on now, what's the matter? You're holding up the show. How humiliating. <laughs> Once upon a time, 
upon a time, there were two children named Hansel and Gretel, who lived in a house by the edge of the forest. One day, they went picking flowers and walked and walked until finally they were lost. Now, there was a mean old witch. Boy, walk corn. Yeah, why don't we take a walk in the woods? And we can play Hansel and Gretel. Yeah, not head, and you will be Hansel now. Yeah, Splinter, and you will be Gretel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, good. <laughs> How do we get lost, not head? It's easy. We just cover our eyes like this, and we just wander around. Are we lost yet? No. Not yet. What pickles? Mm -hmm. 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 Bed house, top floor. Oh, not that old routine. We can go along with it. Remember now, I'll be Hansel. And I'll be Gretel. Correction. You be lunch and you be dinner. That woodpecker pot pie sounds good. Take one woodpecker, that's me, add one carrot, one radish. Radish, coming up. I never could eat radishes. I think we should try some new I'm in there. A Marilyn calendar. What a snack. A 
How about a cracker? One cracker coming up. Your oil dowsing gizmo will find oil anywhere. I'm gonna be ready. It's <laughs> Crazy woodpecker! Now take your silly stick and... Hey! <laughs> Doinky. Not my Swedish cooking oil. We gotta get out of here, man. We're covered in oil. <laughs> What's it doing? It's looking for more oil. And when it finds some real Texas crude, I'm gonna be rolling in dough. Ooh, it's for that kind of oil. Let me add that stick. It's mine. <laughs> it's going after the cod liver oil. Come back. Taxi. Follow that stick. A deal with you. Yeah, what kind of sneaky woodpecker deal is this? Nothing sneaky. Tell you what I'm gonna do. You help me get that dowser, and we'll split everything 50 50. Hmm. Okay. It's a deal. Ah. Hmm. <laughs> Come here, my little dowsing stick. Look what Uncle Wally's got for you. Oof. Don't worry, Wally. You'll be packed and ready to go in no time. See ya. <laughs> what kind of partner cans his other partner? Come to Papa. Whoa! Ah, that stick is mine. 
I got you now, I... Oh! Okay, okay. Truce, Wally. I give up. No more, Mr. Greedy Pants. What's mine is yours. And yours is mine. <laughs> Wally, look! Wally, there's oil down there! Oh, 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 oh. There must be oil on my property. It's clearly on my side of the property, bub. Ten feet by, mm, 20 yards. By Yingo. This satellite proves it. The oil is definitely on my property. I'll dig on my side, and you can dig on yours. Oh, haven't I just had enough of your shenanigans? <laughs> you hit something, yeah? Yeah. Stand back. I'm going to rich, buy rich, a rich. pony, but... Ah! Arrest them both! What did we do? Oh, not much. You just busted into my company's oil pipeline, blew out about a truckload of oil, creating an environmental hazard. Is that enough? This is all your fault, Woodpecker. My then fault? I get Don't my give me that. You weren't <laughs> Package for three seven two five five seven six. Oh boy, it's from the Golden Gizmo Club, Wally. How to turn rocks into gold? Oh no, you don't. Haven't you learned your lesson? Hey, quit it, quit it. I'll share with you, Wally. <laughs> It's another great skiing exhibition, folks. The great Swedish skiing superstar is just about to break the world's record. Oh, goody, goody. I love skiing, yeah. Nothing in the world gives me so much joy. <gasps> what do you think you are doing? Wondering who would watch an old-fashioned sport like skiing. Hey, was watching it. Oh, so you're old-fashioned. Get your hands off of me. You better watch it, Woodpecker. Skiing is the sport of my fatherland. Ah, uh, more like the sport of your grandfatherland. Snowboarding's where it's at. Yeah, well, skiing's the greatest sport. Snowboarding. Skiing. I still say snowboarding's the best. Can't decide on the best method to get down a frozen mountain? Then you should sign up for the Inertia-thon, the all-out freestyle race to the bottom of Mount Incline Plain. It's the downhill experience of a lifetime. What's in it for you? Well, the first to reach the bottom wins 50 bucks, a year's supply of cornmeal, and a firm handshake. This will settle it once and for all, you bet. I challenge you to the race. You're on. Well, here we are with two contestants who hope to settle the debate of which is better. Ski! Snowboarding! <laughs> Although there's some folk who stick to the old standby to bargaining. Hiya, buddy. Oh, so bargaining! <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess this little difference of opinion will be settled on the slopes. Racers to your marks! Hey, Wally, your boot's untied. Hold my poles, Bootpacker. Get set! Bootpacker, my poles. Here you go. Go! Loser! 
Jiminy. I need some ski bags. If he wants to stick to skiing, I'll make him stick but good. This glue will do the trick. <laughs> skiing, I will go. Skiing, I will go. I will beat the woodpecker and make him eat my snow. Hiya, buddy. <laughs> Moves like that, you should try snowboarding, Wally. I'm a skier. I show them a thing or two. Move, ah! Well, at least I landed safely. Sure showed that too, Planker. Hmm. <laughs> Wally get through that. Oh, ogly mogly. Moguls are my specialty. Woodpecker! See you later, Wally. <laughs> yeah, hello? This is Wally. Remember that favor you said you owed me? Well, I want the woodpecker taken care of. You know what I mean? Consider it done. Ah, Swedish meatballs. Time to meet your maker, Woodpecker. Get it? Meet your maker. <laughs> I crack myself up sometimes. Oh my gosh, Swedish Hitman! Oh yeah? Bye bye. <laughs> hey, how come they're laughing? Hiya, buddy. Ah! Oh goody, there's the finish line. Great toboggan victory! How does tobogganing compare with skiing and snowboarding? I told you! The world's greatest sport is tobogganing! Nothing higher! Nothing closer to perfection! How many times do I have to tell you? Can you people get it through your heads? Tobogganing rules! Oh, it's my purpose in life. <laughs>
Too bad, Woodpecker. Say, you need a new used car. I got acres of used cars. Uh, let's go inside, pal. Old Rocket 8. Nope. Al V6. No. Lemon 8. Uh-uh. This car hasn't gone a mile yet. A school teacher owned this one. She drove it only two miles. Field spot. <laughs> Dig that paint job. precisely what happened on the day in question. Well, there I was, Your Honor, sitting on the bench waiting for the bus. When along comes Mr. Inconsiderate and plops his oversized you-know-what right on top of me. He then threw me headlong into a tree. Luck 
Luckily, a doctor witnessed the whole thing and offered his professional advice immediately. Have you recently been involved in an accident that could cause you pain and suffering for years to come? Call me. You may just get yourself a huge settlement. And that is the whole truth, your honorship, sir. Mr. Walrus, mm -hmm. I hereby sentence you to nurse the plaintiff, Mr. Woodpecker, back to <clears throat> health. In order to ensure that you comply with the letter of the law, I appoint this man to keep tabs on you. Do you please the mole, or it's life in prison. Offered. Ouch! Are you okay, my little bird friend and pal? Volley will take good, good care of you. There you go. Is there anything I can do for you, my little woodpecker friend and pal of mine? Wally, would you fluff my pillow? Ooh, ow, ow, ow. There. Is that better? <gasps> there we are, little friend and pal. Is there anything else that I might do for you? Well, now that you mention it, Wally, I had my doctor prepare a little list. Fresh mahi mahi? Why, that's preposterous. Oh, Wally! Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mahi Mahi isn't in season for another week, yeah. I'll have it flown in from Maui. The feuds flew the top. Magazines, food trays, big screen TV, stereo with their CD player, hot tub. That's it. Enough of this molly coddling business. There. <laughs> this should look good at your sentencing. <laughs> As the bread rises, is almost on. I just need a glass of water. Oh. Ah. Wally! Yump and yiminy. Why don't you wait a moment, you big... Wally, how's about a lullaby to put me to sleep? <sighs> Okie dokie, Woody. Wally, I need something a little more soothing. Mm, maybe a little more classical, Wally. Now, uh, play them all together, Wally. Please? Wally, it's too dark in here. Wally, move the bed closer to the TV. Uh, Wally, it's too bright in here. Wally! Okay, buddy. Will that be all for now, Mr. Woodpecker, sir? Mm-hmm. If you should need anything else, simply pull this cord and I'll be here in a yiffy. Now I must go to sleep. Night, Wally. Don't go far. I may need a neck rub. <laughs> sleep. Hey, walrus! Your snoring is keeping me awake! 
Would you go sleep someplace else? Oh, oh, and bring me a glass of tepid milk, please. Wally? Wally, what's the matter? Hey, Wally, what's the matter? So, Dr. Nuts, the whole thing was a fraud. Well, apparently I was not aware that the little fellow was faking it. But, Your Honorship, sir, I, I assure you I... Silence! In light of this evidence, I have no choice but to sentence you, Mr. Woodpecker, to nurse this poor, helpless creature back to health. <laughs> Good afternoon, sports fans, and welcome to the opening of the Antarctic Games, sponsored by Mama Dulap's Old Fashioned Chocolate. The chocolate preferred by four out of five hungry penguins. Mama Doolab invites you to join us at the extreme sporting event of the century. We guarantee plenty of excitement, food, thrills, food, and most of all, food. Tickets go on sale, well, right now. <laughs> Mm-mm. I just love being the official head of security for these here Antarctic Games. I'm sworn to keep all riffraff off of these premises. Hmm. What have we here? It looks like I've corralled me a penguin of the gate-crashing persuasion. Well, I'm escorting you from the premises. <laughs> Guard rule number one, always be leery of the tuxedo wearers. Whoa! Yeah. Hmm, this here ice is mighty cold on the lower lumbar. Wee, 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 wee. You pull over now so as I can under arrest you. It looks like we have a couple of late entries in the ice skating competition, ladies and gentlemen. Well, what style that big fella has. What a left hook that little fella has. <laughs> Now I got you, you little... Ow! That's smart. <laughs> that smart Alec bird is definitely skating on your proverbial thin ice. <laughs> but there ain't a penguin alive who can outsmart a minimum wage security officer. Except maybe this one. <laughs> performance we have a new gold medal winner and now in the mama dewlaps antarctic games tradition the winner of every event gets a meal at the table of champions <laughs> no gate crasher is gonna be outsmarting me hmm Needs a tad more salt. Hold on one ice picking minute. This is the law of talking. <laughs> Sticks and stones may break my bones, but water will not hurt me. <gasps> Unless it has been modified to solid form. 
Hold it where you are. They ain't a gate crasher alive who can get away from me. What style? What a landing. That'll probably cause what we in the guard business call a boo-boo. You know what? My boo-boo smarts. What an amazing run! This surprise contestant has won his second event of the game. And he's wasting no time heading to the table of champions to celebrate. All right, gate crasher, hand over that drumstick. Ouch! Chili Willie has come out of nowhere to take the lead in the 100 mile ice gliding race. All right, you pull over. Huh? <laughs> that there is the oldest trick in the book. Yep, sometimes it takes a while, but I always prove I'm twice as smart as everyone says I think I am. You know, you don't see these great white polar sharks very often. We're 50 miles into the race, and Chili's still in first place. We're less than 100 yards from the finish line, and it's still anyone's race. When I catch this law-breaking icebreaker, he's gonna chill in the cooler for a long while. This is what we in the business call a hot pursuit. They don't get any hotter than this. Amazing! Chili has won three gold medals in one day. And now he's enjoying his third meal at the Table of Champions. I did my job. I may be tired, but it's a good kind of tired. Well, the Antarctic Games may be over, but you can enjoy Mama Dulap's old-fashioned chocolate all year long. Remember, it's a gold medal treat. <laughs> that car chase had more twists than a mutated pretzel. Now you're taking the fall, little lady. The clues tell me the real killer is someone with huge ears. A long nose. And he's prone to drooling. Aha! Uh -huh. The perp was under my nose the whole time. You're taking the fall. A bell went off, and I knew there was no way this pooch was the pilferer. Because for a K-9, he's actually about a K-2. I opened the door to a guy who looked like he'd just been hit by a truck full of handsome. Pardon me, ma'am. Do you want a vacuum cleaner? He was no slouch in the sweet talk department, either. A vacuum? Uh, sure, I have one, but it's in the shop. Sorry to bother you, then. Say, are you part of the neighborhood patrol program? Uh, yeah. Some nut jobs been stealing vacuum cleaners in the area. I could help get the word out. Uh, leave it to the professionals, ma'am. I was in the mood to return videos without rewinding them. Drink milk right out of the carton a day after the expiration date. Oh. It took some convincing. But Chandler saw the light. Winnie P.I. was on the job. First thing I did was plaster the town with flyers. <laughs> the 
Deputy Dizzy, go to the other side of town. I'll whistle if I need backup. <laughs> now to find out how this vacuum cleaner crook's mind worked. This crazy woodpecker was nosing into my business. She made me want to scream louder than a yodeler in tight underwear. I told Chandler the best P.I.s always nose around the scene of the crime. We're here to ask you about your stolen vacuum cleaner, ma'am. Where were you on the night of... <clears throat> I'll have this, Red. Get a clue. Ten four, Chandler. I'm on it like gum on a sidewalk. Don't mind the mess. I'm dusting for clues. <laughs> I figured I'd dust for prints. It's a dirty job. Mostly because of the dirt. Hear me that. Go secure the crime scene. My partner was feeling the pressure. We needed a break worse than an out-of-work orthopedic surgeon. Suddenly, I had what might be a clue. Unfortunately, it turned out to be a footprint. By the looks of things, the crook was either an enormous centipede with hundreds of feet, or a man who walked with two shoes on. I decided to trace his every move. What we had here was a sweet tooth vacuum cleaner thief with size 8 W's. Huh? Hmm, when in doubt, improvise. Let's have a look at the closet where you kept the missing vacuum. What day is today? Uh, three. Where do you live? Ten Amp Street. Give me that. So, with my partner out on the mend, I was left alone for a stakeout. I found the perfect bait. The TurboVac 200 on a lure out beef. I wasn't at your house for any neighborhood patrol. I was casing your joint red to steal your vacuum. But the neighborhood patrol posters. I was taking them down. But you got some cockamamie idea I was the law. <gasps> Who are you? I own a cleaning service. Business was so bad, I figured... If you steal all the vacuums in town, business will skyrocket. But then you had to stick your nosy beak into things. I want you to know, mister, whatever you're thinking, you can just forget, because you're taking the fall. Oh. Oh. Yeah, this Chandler character was slicker than the shine on a freshly licked lollipop. But we stuck to the case like glue and got our man. The streets were safe once more for vacuum cleaners everywhere. Winnie P.I. and Deputy Dizzy were on the job. 